So you have a brand new razor blade 14 inch laptop and you want to upgrade the SSD? We're going to show you how to do that today. Stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, let's talk about why you want to upgrade this drive. So basically, the Razer Blade 14 inch, the late 2016 version, either ships with a PM951 SSD or a PM961 SSD. Both of these are very good drives in that they have excellent read times. Now, the write times aren't that great, but if you're a gamer, you really aren't going to notice a performance increase if you get a new drive. Now, you may want to increase the storage capacity. So if you have a 500 gig, you may want to go one terabyte, and that's a good reason to upgrade. Just think about this before you upgrade. If you want, you can read my full review of the 960 EVO SSD, and I'll show you about how the speeds can vary and what's actually going to matter to you as a gamer. Having said that, on the Razer Blade, I actually did put in a 960 EVO, and while it's a great drive, it actually does nothing for improving game speeds in terms of loading and how fast everything works. So you're not going to really notice a big improvement. It does matter a lot, though, for people who do video processing and are rendering videos in, say, Adobe Premiere. But if you're not doing that kind of work where you're writing a lot of information to disk a lot, you're not going to really get a huge benefit here. The first thing you're going to want to do is image your current drive. You can use free apps like O&O Drive Image or Macroom Reflect Free, which is what we're using here. You can also use any other disk imaging app of your choice. You'll want to back up your hard drive to a bootable USB one so you can later copy it over to the new SSD. To get started, optionally ground yourself to prevent any damage to your PC. Some people laugh at this, but it's actually an important step if you don't want to damage your computer. You want to remove then the 10 screws at the bottom of the razor blade. Be sure to place them safe. They're very tiny and you definitely do not want to lose them. Gently pull off the bottom cover once all the screws are removed. Find the SSD drive, which is located above the battery to the left side. You want to remove the single installation screw that holds down the PM951 or PM961 SSD. Once you do that, gently raise the SSD to about a 20 degree angle and lightly wiggle the drive until the base comes out. Once removed, you want to put on the new Samsung SSD. To do so, put it at about a 20 degree angle and gently wiggle it into the socket. Be sure not to touch any of the other components or get oil on them. Lightly press down the SSD until it lays flat. Screw in the insulation screw to secure the SSD. Do not over tighten, just make it finger tight. Replace the bottom cover and put back the 10 screws. Be very careful to not over tighten. Make them finger tight, but do not strip the soft treads. Once assembled, turn the razor blade back over and plug in the AC cord. Insert your USB drive if you used one for the disk image. You then want to press the power button and hold F12. You should see your USB disk as a bootable option. Choose this and boot into your disk image recovery tool. Finally, restore your disk image to your new internal SSD. Once completed, remove the USB drive and reboot your PC. Once booted back into Windows, make sure you download and install Samsung's NVMe 2.0 driver. Your SSD will work without it, but you won't get the full speeds until you install the driver. Finally, make sure your SSD reported capacity is being used. If you have any unallocated area, you may need to use a third-party tool to merge the unallocated partition with the primary one. So there's a quick guide on upgrading the Razer Blades SSD. If you want the full guide, head to Windows Central for more information. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.